Okay, today we're debugging this uh, Nest um, thermostat controller in the furnace. Um, I was noticing this went offline. And so um, when I went up to this thing previous, it was saying, check your uh, power connections coming into to this Nest. Uh, there was a power issue. Um, and let's see here. If you push this down... I think you can go to the gearbox settings and go into here, go all the way um, clockwise and then back it off a couple and you'll see uh, technical info. Um, if you select that one and go into power here, you can see that the battery has got a certain voltage on it. Um, whoops. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so it's complaining about this uh, uh, RH wire um, not detected. Um, and uh, that's the problem this thermostat thinks it's got. Um, anyway, I was going to show you how to read the current going into there, but this is being a little finicky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off real quick. And um, this is the uh, the base wiring um, unit. And um, this uh, red wire here, RH, that should be the uh, one of the 24 volt wires AC. And so the red uh, would be one that you'd want to measure. And then this uh, C wire here, you could measure, you know, with the... Uh, a, a voltmeter. So measure across both of these wires. Uh, what you could do is push in your little button here, pull this red wire out until you start seeing some copper, and then you can measure across those two. In my case, I measured across those two, and there's 24 volts there, um, which tells me that from the furnace all the way up here, um, there's voltage coming in here to charge the battery. But for whatever reason, um, there was some complaints um, by the, uh, the smarts on the on the Nest. I think this is a Generation 3. I was thinking maybe this connector right here might be getting a little flaky where the power wasn't uh, coming across that connector there. But uh, I discovered behind this white plastic plate, there's actually uh, components and circuits behind there. So this particular uh, base unit, base wiring unit, I'm going to buy a new one so um, the voltage can come off of this uh, base platform through this connector up to the uh, graphical unit. And then the graphical unit will say it's, it's happy at that point. This is uh, what the back looks like. I think this is a Gen 3 unit here. Um, that USB connector on the top, if your battery is low, you can plug that in and charge your battery up um, and then plug it back into the wall. Um, so that's what that looks like. Okay, I was able to get back to this screen here. Um, what we see on this V in here, it should be 24 volts. Uh, you can see there's hardly any voltage coming in. So that's indicating that the uh, wiring base unit is uh, has failed and then also down here on the uh, the current um, that's got an O on there I think that means operation if you're charging the battery I think that there would be a letter C there um, on a good um, working base wiring base unit um, it was saying it's like uh, 200 milliamps of uh, charge coming in on uh, on a low battery if you look at the battery voltage, you can see that it's it's going to be dropping um, over time. But uh, it just, this just shut off. But over time, that should be dropping uh, because this not is not being charged. And I'll get a picture of what uh, what the base unit looks like inside here, real quick. And this is kind of what's inside of these wiring units here. Let's see here. Let me go over here. You can kind of see there's uh, inductors and 
active circuits and uh, I think there's probably even some fuses and stuff so that board right there is probably like an $80 board so I will be ordering that for uh, my Gen 3 uh, model let's see where is that there's some information so anyway please like share and subscribe thanks for your attention today